message to snowmobilers and is to stay away from waterways, stay away from any ice. It isn't safe at this point in the season. Emergency responders are advising caution around local waterways as the temperatures drop and Manitoba's largest snowmobile association says if you're already set to hit the trails, you should avoid the ice. There's thin ice, uh, we know in some areas. Uh, when that's covered by snow, it produces the insulation which ends up melting the ice. Yvonne Rideout, executive director of the Snowmobilers of Manitoba, says there needs to be at least five inches of clear ice in order to support a snowmobile. And while going through the ice is uncommon, it does happen. We don't hear about it a lot. We, when we do hear about it, we all say, you know, uh, make sure you know that the ice is safe before you venture on it. And also, also travel with a friend. Last week, the city of Winnipeg issued a warning that ice surfaces on urban waterways are thin and fragile, advising teachers and parents to speak to children about the dangers of thin ice and for dog owners to keep animals leashed and away from the surfaces. At this time, emergency officials say all bodies of water should be considered unsafe. Earlier this month, a 70-year-old man went missing in an ice fishing area near Fairford, Manitoba and was found deceased in an area of thin ice. Well, it's a tragedy when you've got someone who's enjoying his passion, you know, year after year for 50 plus years. He's got his favorite spot. Uh, he heads out there. I don't know how many times he'd go out, but I'm sure it's quite frequently every winter uh, for the ice fishing. Uh, so it's a tragic loss for the community. It's RCMP Sergeant Paul Maneg says right now, due to the weather patterns, it's possible certain areas are not following their usual free cycle. Well, everything was late this year, late the spring melt, the late summer arrival, late fall. Um, so I kind of like to say it's like we're getting into a, a late winter start, which means, you know, Normally by this time last year, he was probably out ice fishing and a foot thick of ice. Well, this year, because it's warmer longer, that ice has only started to freeze. RCMP say the death is not considered criminal in nature and continue to investigate. Rideout says those who are planning to explore the province's waterways as temperatures drop should reach out to members of Snowmobilers Manitoba as they'll be able to help provide information on ice thickness and other safety hazards in the area. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.